That's disgusting. <laughs> Hello you guys, um, so I just got to Beverly Hills. I'm headed to see my facialist, Nikki. Um, I go to her all the time. She always gets me in last minute, she's the best. Um, but I am actually headed to Kauai in a couple of days. So I wanted to do a facial, I wanna address my pigmentation as always and do some dermaplaning, which is when they basically like shave your face. Um, it gets all the dead skin and the like little hairs off so that your products can penetrate better. So I'll probably do some vlogging behind the scenes and show you guys um, I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna do yet she said something about it's called like co2 lift she does like all sorts of crazy treatments on me um, but I did tell her I was gonna be in the Sun so we can't in, I'm gonna be in the Sun next week so I can't do anything like too crazy no peels or anything like that because you don't want obviously your skin to get super sensitive before you're going to be in the Sun because then that can make pigmentation worse and as you guys know um, I'm always working on addressing my hyperpigmentation and dark spots, <sighs> which side note, somebody asked me on my Instagram this morning because I go to hot yoga a lot. They're like, doesn't that make your melasma hyperpigmentation worse? And the answer is yes, it definitely does. Like any sort of heat, whether it is from the sun and you're actually in the sun, or even if your body, like your internal temperature is getting really hot, any of those things can trigger melasma, hyperpigmentation, dark spots. So I try not to do hot yoga or saunas too often for that reason, but there's a lot of health benefits obviously from sweating and like getting a good sweat in because it's one of the ways that our bodies like detoxifies naturally. And to be honest, my I don't sweat unless I'm in a sauna or I'm at hot yoga. So I figure like I can deal with a little bit of pigmentation on my face if it means that I'm getting like the detoxification benefits from the sauna, if that makes sense. Okay, I'll catch up with you guys in a minute. <laughs> That all came out of my pores. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> so now we are going to dermaplane. <laughs> okay, wait, is this the vitamin A mask? This is the vitamin A. And what does this do? It's by osmosis. So it's a form of retinaldehyde, so it's a potent retinol treatment which I like doing versus wearing retinol every day. This is just a nice little kick of it. So it has a lot of antioxidants. It also is gonna help to brighten your pigmentation. It activates a 30 day collagen increase, which is super cool. But then it doesn't make you like super sensitive in the sun. No. Why don't you recommend retinol every day? Or do you recommend it at all? I it just depends on who you talk to, like which esthetician I just think it can be a little bit barrier compromising for some people and I get my turnover, I get my cell turnover another way. I like to use like mandelic acid. I don't find a need for that. Okay. A lot of people using tretinoin become more sun sensitive. Mm. I don't want to become more sun sensitive because I'm pigment prone. Me either. So you're saying I shouldn't use that? There are other antioxidants, not just retinol. Okay. Well good to know because I feel like I've tried tretinoin and retinol mm -hmm. a couple different times. Do you like that? And I don't ever like it. It like yeah, always just makes dries me you so out. red. And I've tried I was consistent for a long time and it like either made me break out or get really red and I was just like, I can't I can't do this anymore. <laughs> morning you guys so I just got to Jen's office um, she is my nurse injector she does my Botox so I'm getting I'm gonna take you guys with me to get Botox today wait this is what this is the before of my forehead wrinkles I'll probably get a little bit around my eyes too I don't I don't have super bad crow's feet it's mainly forehead and then like frown line um, so we're gonna do that we might do a little bit of lip filler um, but I'm not sure. 
I don't really feel like I like need it. I mean, I have naturally really thin lips and the thing that I really like about Jen is that she's super, super conservative. So if all, if I just went in and was like asking for something that I didn't need, she'd be like, no. Like there was one time I went to get Botox and she was like, you don't need Botox yet. Like you still have like no lines in your forehead. So she made me come back a few months later. But I actually like that because I feel like with cosmetic treatments like this, it's, I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen it. It's easy to get like out of control with it and you kind of like lose perspective of what a natural face looks like. So it's good to have somebody with a really natural eye that can kind of be like, no, you don't need this. Or like, I think it would look good if we did this. So I'm going to just kind of see what she says. Might do it, might not. Um, but something that I do normally do with Botox, which is really nice too, if you're not somebody who wants to do filler. And I've done this like a lot of times and I love the result is you can actually get like a couple units of Botox I think they put it like right above your lip and what it does is like relaxes the muscles Sorry, I had to burp. so that when you smile your upper lip kind of like has a little bit more surface area so it gives you the appearance of fuller lips without doing lip filler and the benefit of that is like if you don't like it it'll be gone in a couple of months whereas with lip filler if it's bad it's bad and you might have to get it dissolved which I have gotten my lip filler dissolved before not from her <laughs> I went to somebody else and I think that it didn't look super bad but it was just something that was very minor that bothered me I feel like it kind of migrated a little bit like outside the the border of my lip and I didn't like the way it looked so anyways I'll see what she says I'll take you guys with me and after my appointment I'm meeting up with my friend Nia who's driving up from San Diego so I think we're gonna get lunch and um, just hang out in West Hollywood Helping to relax. So what we're doing here right now yeah. is we're working on the skin, really. Okay. I'm not really working on the orbicularis muscle when I'm injecting in this area. Okay. So this, the area you're doing is more like it's make it smooth. So yes. Like yes. makeup doesn't crease. Exactly. Well, okay. yeah, and like when you smile, it's not as creepy. Okay. And at rest, it's not as creepy. Okay. Um, the jelly roll is more about the pull of the muscle, mm -hmm. and so we're not injecting that area for you because I personally don't think. Okay. If you want me to do it, I'll do no, it. No, I mean, if you don't think I need it, then. I think you need it. Okay. Well, good. <laughs> and I like that we're just doing a little bit here for you because, A, like, like me, for instance, I'm very affected around my eyes. Mm -hmm. For you, it's probably more when you wear your makeup. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of my forehead wrinkles that I feel like are... Mm -hmm. Okay, hello. I'm a little red because I just finished my appointment, which you guys saw. We ended up just doing the lip flip, not the lip filler. She said that we could do some lip filler, but I, I feel like I was just like not wanting to. I'm still a little bit scared and traumatized from the time that I had to get my lip filler dissolved. And I just don't want it to migrate again. And honestly, I don't hate the way that my lips look now. Like I think they look pretty good. So I think we just, we just did a little bit of Botox, like I was telling you about before above the lip. And then we did some around the eyes, actually not very much. She only, I think she did just like a couple drops right here, forehead. And then if it sets in before the time I'm done vlogging, maybe I'll do like a before and after, but um, I'm not sure. Cause it usually, it takes like two weeks to be fully settled. So it'll definitely be in the future, but at some point I'll do a before and after so you guys can see. Um, but now I'm actually gonna hang out. I think my friend Nia, who I told you about before that I'm meeting up with, she's driving up from San Diego. She is still not gonna be here for like 30 minutes. So I'm probably gonna just edit a reel and um, we're gonna get some smoothie bowls and I'm so excited. It's so nice out, yay.
Hello you guys. So I'm back at home. Yesterday you saw we went out to breakfast and then we went and did a little bit of shopping. I was looking for some clothes for Kauai. We leave in a couple days. I actually didn't really find anything, but I did want to show you guys one of my favorite dupes ever for like a really high-end designer item that you have probably seen me wear. I've literally worn these shoes all summer for like the last three summers and they look exactly like the Hermes sandals that you've probably seen. So I'll insert a little clip of what the actual Hermes sandals look like and then I will show you the dupe because it's really good. And honestly, there are certain things that like I want the actual designer item. Like for example, my Birkin, you can see the box up there. That's an Hermes bag that is like so special to me. I love it so much. And with bags specifically from certain designers like Chanel and Hermes, they actually increase in value over time. So it's really an investment, but something like shoes that you are literally walking on and are bound to get dirty and disgusting after a couple of years, to me, a lot of times it doesn't really make sense to spend the money. I have priorities with my money, you know? I'm only spending my money on things that I really care about. So shoes are not one of them. Well, I don't know, maybe sometimes they are. These are Steve Madden. I actually got them in two different colors. So I showed you what the actual Hermes sandal looks like. And then these are the Steve Madden dupe. I am obsessed with this color. This is the color that I've been wearing the last couple of summers and they, they're they so comfortable. So like when, I, when I'm in Europe, they're really easy to walk in, but they also look kind of elevated enough to like where you can dress them up um, so they can go from like day to night really easily. And then I also got this color because I really liked this color as well. And since I wore these ones so much last year, I thought it made sense to buy two pairs. These are $60, I think they were $59. And the Hermes ones I think are like 1200. So definitely and truly you guys, people on Instagram, they've asked me about my Hermes sandals so often and I'm like, no, you can't even tell that these are Steve Madden. I will link these in my like to know it store um, in the description if you guys wanna check them out because I'm obsessed with them. And then I wanted to do one other unboxing because I am so lucky. This brand sent me some skincare stuff. I said this brand because I do not know how to pronounce this name. I'm sure you guys have seen it. Apparently one of the like oils in here is going viral on TikTok. So I'll try it out and let you guys know what I think. But, oh, I think it's this. So maybe you've seen it. So it's like a shower almond oil cleansing and softening. So I think you use it in the shower. I got a hand cream, love that. Ooh, and then a night serum. Oh, <laughs> I was reading the side that was in French. So it's an overnight reset oil serum. Soothed and revitalized skin, smooth lines, youthful glow. Okay, amazing. I'll try it out and let you guys know what I think. Okay, and then another thing that I wanted to show you guys slash tell you about is this book that I got. It's called The Gene Keys, Embracing Your Higher Purpose. I will also link that below. But when I shared about this on Instagram, a lot of you guys were interested. So if you haven't heard of Gene Keys before, it is sort of like astrology, human design, any of those modalities where you like put in your birth chart information and the city you were born in and it pulls up like your own unique chart, which is really cool. And the reason I started getting interested in it is I heard the, the guy that like created it was on a podcast and he was talking about how to use your Gene Keys profile to learn more about like your higher purpose and the work that you're here in the world meant to do and the way that you uniquely are meant to be making money and the way that you're gonna be the most abundant. So of course, I was really, really interested in that. If you want to find your chart, I will link in the description below the place that you can go to like pull up your free chart um, or you can get this book. The book is like a lot more in depth. So if you get interested in it, definitely check out the book, but get your free chart first and see what you think. So I'll just read you guys like one small part of my chart because I feel like 
this is one of the most accurate types of chart readings that I've ever had. So it also tells you like what your life challenge is, like what your biggest life challenge is going to be. Um, so mine, the, what I'm here to learn, this is the, this feels like very personal, but you guys, we're all in this together. So it says, my evolution, what I'm here to learn. You must never compromise the essence of your uniqueness. You are not like other people and cannot measure yourself against them. Above all, you stand for the right to be different. So whenever you feel forced into wearing someone else's suit, a part of you dies. You will always be a free spirit and you must not let your self doubt take that away. The inner tendency to compromise yourself for the sake of another or for the sake of money, power, or recognition is the greatest challenge of your life. There is nothing more important than your freedom of self-expression, and if you give even a tiny bit of that away, you have given away it all. Your whole life is a test of this. Okay, so that's just one small snippet of my whole chart, but like I said, everything in your chart will be completely unique, and I need to know if you guys feel like what yours says is super, super accurate because the specificity in some of these like qualities that it's telling you about yourself is crazy. Um, so again, the book is, it's called Gene Keys, but this is the book um, and I will link to the website where you can get your free chart reading below. <laughs> you guys, I'm editing last week's vlog. By the time this vlog comes out, it will have been last week's vlog that I'm referring to. So if you haven't watched that, you should really go watch it because it is unhinged. I am unhinged. There are like parts of that vlog that I don't remember filming because we went to a Lakers game and I had a couple of drinks, not gonna lie. And then I got back home and was like dancing and talking to the camera. And I really, I, my recollection of that night was spotty. So I'm just like over here chuckling to myself. I don't actually, my husband's probably laughing at me because he's editing this and he's like, oh, you think you're telling people that you edit your vlogs? No, he edits them, but then we have a really good system. So he edits them and then uploads them to this software called Frame.io, which is really nice because then basically I can watch it and I can go in and like leave any comments in um, the sidebar, which will timestamp it. So it's really easy then for him to go in and make the edits and then it's good to go. It's like a really, really good workflow. So just anybody out there who's like making YouTube videos, you might find it helpful. Um, but anyways, I thought I would end the vlog here. We are, like I said, probably a couple times already, we're going to Kauai in a couple of days. So make sure to subscribe if you want to follow along on the Hawaii content. I'm so excited. Be sure to subscribe and be sure to follow on Instagram because I'll probably be posting more like in the moment um, Hawaii content there. So thanks as always for watching you guys. Let me know if you're watching these. It really means so much to me and let me know what you wanna see more of in the comments. Okay, see you guys next week, bye. Thank you.